Hi returns, welcome to another video where I am continuing with the right side of page 126. So you are given an object and you have to draw it in perspective. And first things first, you always find the vanishing point. So to get the vanishing point, you project the center or the middle of the stationary point up. And then where it intersects with the horizon line, which is the HL, that is where you will get your point, which you will then label the vanishing point. It is, it is extremely important to label the vanishing point because you will get a mark for that. And like I said, it is a one point perspective. So let us get started so first things first you basically move this to align with this view this view is our top view and then this is our front view so you're basically moving your front view to align with your top view and you are doing all that in construction first so all the lines that are touching the picture plane all of them you have to bring them down. All points touching the picture plane, you have to ensure that you bring them down in construction lines. And then we have this middle, this one at the bottom. Now I have to project this one and then project the one at the top. So this is all in construction. So from what I'm given, I can already see that I can outline this front view because all these four points are on the picture plane, meaning that my drawing will start from the ground level. So with that being given, I'm just going to outline this piece before I... I begin with the whole thing. Just going to quickly outline the whole thing. And just like that, it is all outlined and it is moved to now align with the top view. And the thing about perspective is that you can draw it in many ways. You can choose to outline as you draw or you can choose to have the whole object, have the whole idea, and then outline afterwards. It's all up to you. And then, like I said, all the lines now that I've taken across and they've given me points, I'm now going to take them to the vanishing point. And this is also the same case with your vanishing point and the lines that you take to the vanishing point and the stationary lines. You can choose to take each point accordingly. You don't have to take all of them at the same time. You can choose to take one point to the finishing point and then another one down. So now I have all of my points. So basically this view and this top part, I have the points. Now I'm going to get the side of the shape by bringing this point the stationary point. So I'm just aligning it so that it's properly aligned. Yes. Once it is aligned like that, you're more than welcome to bring it down. So as you can see from there, now you can see that I have a point, I'm going to have a point here and a point here. And then for the top part, I'm just going to now get that one as well at the back. Perspective is all about 
being precise. So you never assume that a point is somewhere until you have actually taken it down. And then, as you can see now, we'll be able to apply here. So now this is my shape outlined, but as we can see, we have an opening which is shown by these hidden detail. So that is going to now allow me to take this point to the vanishing point so that I can show that this is an opening, it's not a closed space. That's the hidden detail indicate. And then as you can see, I'm just going to outline the part that is seen because we were not told to show any hidden detail. So just like that, I have my object drawn in perspective. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you when I do the next page. All the best.